All right, guys. So here is my review of the IO Connect. Um, if you look closely, this is the way that the case, not the case, the um, product comes. It comes in a small, medium, and large scan flag. It comes with a screwdriver, and it comes with um, some healing caps. Uh, this is the only system that's out there that allows you to use uh, the THS cap, but not only just the THS cap, but the THS cap with multiple cuff heights. And this is extremely, extremely important. Um, most um, systems out there, whether it's photogrammetry or intro photogrammetry, when you scan what they call the implant scan, you could only export one size of the healing abutment. Now, if you use one size of healing abutment for the whole case, then you're going to have a hard time scanning the soft tissue because of blood, but the THS cap comes in one, two, three, and four millimeters and allows you to compress the tissue and do a super easy soft tissue scan. So that's the beauty of um, this, and I want you to keep in mind. This allows you to use your existing intraoral scanner, um, and you will be able to see a case that I did. So here is a case that we're going to start. Um, we're going to be doing just the lower on this patient. Um, and if you look closely, uh, you can see her lower is pretty broken down. Um, and this is an x-ray of her case. And uh, you can see that her teeth are completely broken. This is the wax up that we did, the digital wax up for the temps for the Excel implant process. Um, and we have everything ready to go for the surgery uh, based on the pre-op and the vertical dimension that we chose. And here we go, we start. The implants are now placed. Uh, we're not gonna show you that. Uh, we go ahead and we create our temporary uh, chair side. Uh, we do the reline on the THS caps. And then we go ahead and we do the soft tissue scan. You can see the soft tissue scan is picked up pretty quickly and we use the uh, TRIOS, which allows us to be very, very, very accurate. Um, and you can see how this is done. This is done in sub one minute scan. Uh, super important that your TRIOS is always calibrated and your tips are perfectly clean, don't have scratches on any of the uh, mirrors. That's extremely, extremely important. Um, you can see on this case, I had to rescan a couple times, add some powder because my tips were uh, sort of defective. Um, but we finally got it in under one minute to make sure that it's perfectly uh, even. In this case, we ended up using all two millimeter THS caps. Uh, we then went ahead and scanned the upper arch, um, which we're not doing any treatment on right now. Um, and this is all done in the exact same order. Um, upper arch is scanned pretty easily. You could have AI on or off, um, but that's really it. The uh, temporary is delivered, uh, cemented or secured in. We cure it really quickly. And now we go ahead and we take the bite registration after we scan the lower. You can see we make sure that THS caps are exposed so that we can make sure that the bite is perfectly set up. We have two in the back and one in the front. You'll see after we do the uh, design what it looks like. Um, so far, everything is exactly the way it's supposed to be done. Pretty easy. Obviously, this is all done in uh, pretty fast mode. Just for the sake of time for this um, video. Once that is done, we process that through and we have the patient bite into centric and we capture the bite. And that's pretty standard in the Excel and Palm process. Scan the temporaries, scan the bite. And now we process that and we create a new order. While that order is being done, we now go ahead and create, uh, we start to remove the temporary, remove the THS caps, and then we go to the True Abutment IO Connect scan bodies. Uh, I like to start with the large in the back and then uh, break the difference uh, in the middle with some smalls. Uh, it's extremely important that you can almost pick up all of the hexagons in one shot. And that means that in a really, really fast scan so that the scanner sees everything in one shot. Um, again, this is just the temporary. As you can see, it's, the kit is really nice. comes with a screwdriver so you don't have to go fiddle, fiddle around. Um, it's very, very good quality, torques really nicely, has all the different sizes, 
And one of the tricks that you have to do is if you look closely here, you can see how the scan is all blue. Um, Trios uh, has the tendency to delete um, scans. In the byte registration module, it does not delete any scans, so it comes out as blue. Uh, the STL triangles are not as high, but it's still good enough. But you can see this is a split-second scan. I picked up all five of my implants in one shot. Um, this is more than enough. You can see I just added enough, a uh, little the extension so I can see, so I wouldn't mess up the small, medium, and larges. Um, I just tricked the computer, took a fake upper scan so that it would let me process through. And then I have, in that order, the scan of the implants. Now I wanted to compare everything, uh, whether it was my THS intraoral scan, uh, IO Connect intraoral scan, and also photogrammetry. So in this, you see me here taking out the IO Connect scan bodies. And after I take them out, I screw in the Tupel or the Grammy scan bodies inside with the new ones. These are a little bit taller, should work better. But as you can see, I still struggle. It's definitely not as fast as the six second IO Connect scan. Um, you see it picks up two of them, even though it sees it, it's struggling. I think that as they get better and better, it will get faster and faster. We release the capture button so that it can process and then reprocess. Um, and it's picking up uh, three now. I would say out of this whole procedure, this was the hardest. Uh, this is not necessary, but I did this just so I can compare all of the scans together. Again, this is what it looks like. We're able to export my scan bodies out of this, the THS two millimeters. Um, and we exported that out. Now we have all the scans that we need. We unscrew this, put the THSs back in, and then we are gonna go to the computer and design everything that we need. Uh, we log into the IO Connect database. We import that byte registration scan of just the IO Connects super fast. Um, you can see here it lists everything and you can see if you look closely you can see where it says large, uh, large and then the two smalls. You select each one, one, two, three, four, five. And then on the lower right side, you select which Excel scan body you want, whether it's a THS JA, the JA scan body, or the THS. And then um, it will ask you what type of MUA you have. But more importantly, if you could see on the upper left hand side, it allows you to choose the size or the cuff height of the THS individually that no other system allows you to do, which I thought is massively great. You just hit export and boom, it's available right away. And now it's time for the magic to go ahead and do the uh, Excel implant process sub 10 minute design. We export all of the files and as per our instructions, we always, always, always um, save everything in one folder. We name it correctly, whether it's the true abutment scan, the temporary, the soft tissue scan, the photogrammetry scan, um, but we're able to export everything that we need. We have the setup already done in occlusion. All we need to do is just bring everything in. Uh, we use Meta Design to align everything. You can see that's the scan from the true abutment. That's the soft tissue scan. Um, this is the temporary scan. And I also brought in the Grammy scan just to compare everything. Now I start to match everything together so that everything is correct. You can see that now uh, we're aligning the soft tissue to the lower arch. You can see the THSs are exposed. Um, we align everything exactly the way it's supposed to, so we know we have perfect alignment so that there's no problems with the bite. That's done automatically. We check to make sure everything is aligned correctly. That's done. Um, the next step that we're gonna do is we're going to align the upper uh, wax up complex to the temporary. We use the upper to do that and boom it automatically aligns. That's done and now it's in perfect occlusion. We have everything that we need and this is the one that you guys are going to be extremely surprised. Now we start to align all of our implant scans to the soft tissue scan. So we're going to overlay the Grammy scan, the true abutment scan, all onto my Trios soft tissue scan. And for those of you that say it does not work, that uh, intraoral scans doesn't work, you can see um, I will be comparing all three of them. True abutment, 
Grammy, and just straight trios on all of that. And you can see that um, it's actually almost 100% aligned and perfect onto the trios. There's no deviation whatsoever. And that's the beauty of being able to scan without any tissue or without any problems. I then also compared a photogrammetry scan to the true abutment scan, which is right there, and it was 100, 100, perfectly even. So that shows us that the true abutment scan is extremely uh, accurate. We know that the photogrammetry scan is extremely accurate. And then it also proved that the THS with a good scanner and a good operator can give you a very, very, very accurate and acceptable uh, implant scan. We now bring everything into the ExoCAD. We name all of the implant positions. <clears throat> we do the implants. It would set up exactly 100%, all two millimeters, THS. And after we design it, we go ahead and print it. We unscrew everything. So her THSs were holding the tissue open and creating hemostasis at the same time. We go ahead, put our printed restoration without any adjustments whatsoever. We take our mega torque, torque it to 10 noon centimeters to make sure everything is perfectly seated. And then we torque it in. And you can see that everything is perfect. And this is the final restoration in the mouth. One of the things that's extremely important, you can see how everything is seated because the Powerball screw bottoms out everywhere evenly. This is what she looks like in the mouth without any adjustments whatsoever. You can see the midline is perfectly on to the lower. That means the setup was done correctly. So what are my final thoughts? You've seen my video on the Shining 3D. You know that I've been doing uh, intraoral scans with my scan bodies, whether it's the JA scan body or my THS scan body for years with passive fits and having no issues whatsoever. And now we have the True Abutment IO Connect. And you're a dentist and you have no idea what to do. What should I do? Should I buy a Shining intraoral scanner with intraoral photogrammetry for $20,000? Should I buy IO Connect? for $3,000 or should I just stay with what I have? And it's, you know, as we navigate this whole uh, game, it's uh, sort of hard to make d decisions with our really hard earned money. And um, here is my recommendation. Um, you know, patients are getting harder and harder and harder and they're getting less and less compliant in a sense of not moving their tongue, staying still when we scan them and uh, if you're an operator that's been scanning all of these years with my scan bodies and you have no issues whatsoever, like everything always fits, there's no reason to invest in anything. Stay with what you have. Now, if you're an operator that says, you know what, I want to up my game a little bit. I know that I have sometimes cases where the patient is, it's extremely hard to capture, especially that mandible. Even I know that I'll be able to capture an intraoral scan, but I can't do it in sub one minute. And I already own a trio scanner. My recommendation is, is buy the true above and IO connect. The scan bodies are really well um, designed. Um, they work with the, my system already. And the workflow is not that much different than what you're doing. You're just adding a legitimately six second intraoral scan with using your three shape trio scanner. That's extremely, extremely accurate and you'll get great, great results. Now, if you have no scanner and you are super new to this game, uh, Shining is a great option. You know, uh, the Shining scanner is still relies, even though they call it photogrammetry, it still relies on the accuracy of an intraoral scanner. You know, the Shining identifies a scan body. That's what it does. But 
the space between each scan body is determined based on how your your intraoral scanner works now the shining intraoral scanner does not touch a trio scanner when it comes to soft tissue scans or t teeth scans today eventually maybe they'll it will get better but if you have no scanner and you want to get into the implant game and sort of have a small easy entry a shining scanner is a great way to get into you get the intraoral photogrammetry you get the soft tissue you get the teeth um it still has a lot to be able to grow to be able to get better software um but it's still a great option so you have a trios you have no problem save your money don't do anything you have a trios you want to elevate your or have an extra tool in your hands to be able to say hey i'd love to be able to uh scan those patients that are just so difficult to scan io connect you want to say hey I have IO Connect, but I would like to maybe have something a little extra to double check my scan. You can buy photogrammetry to add that in there. Now, photogrammetry can be $40,000, but you can also add shining. So in my practice, I have photogrammetry, trios, shining, and IO Connect, because the more tools you have, the better it is. Um, so choose wisely. Um, if you have a trios and you're doing great, and you just want to add a little something, $3,000 investment's not a big deal. I love that you can use the different cuff heights that nobody else can do. Um, so I think it's a great, great system. Um, I hope that they will redesign it in a sense that the small, medium, and large will have some sort of differentiation in them um, so that the scanners won't get com uh, confused as much. Um, Shining is doing great. I think they need to work on their soft tissue part of their scanner um but it's not as fast as io connect um and photogrammetry is will always be the gold standard but you have to have uh both sta both scanners and i think it gets cost prohibitive in our today's world i hope you love this um review comment below if you have any questions and uh keep on implanting and do the best for your patients have a great day